All right, this is like the first clip, or maybe not. I honestly don't know where my videos are at the point. But I'm at Five Below, and for the longest time, they had a, a wave I never got in Michigan here. And I never seen it because I just saw the wave I came to Michigan. I came in today to get some candy before I went to the movie. I found all these, Jake. So I got Commander Rex's. I don't know if I'm, I'm trying to get one for trade, but I'll probably leave one. There's another one here because I'm not taking them all. Peel Guard, who I'm really excited to find for the rest. Captain Phasma, which was big day, because I did want this figure, but she sucked in the movie. And another Imperial Guard. Super happy to get these five bucks each. It's pretty crazy. I just want to show that off. I'm definitely picking up a couple of these at least. And uh, yeah, hopefully, if you need a Commander Rex or something, let me know. I will trade for a Commander Grief. I don't really want to talk about how many times I filmed this video because it's been like three times, and each time gets worse and worse. First time, I just said, screw it, let's pick up. I'll do one on Christmas, show what I got for Christmas too. And then I did that, and then the video was very bad and grainy. So I just had a test run. It looks better because I haven't used this camera in a while. It's a little not like, color corrected, but whatever. I'm fine looking like a pale boy. Anyways, pray to God for me. Give me a like to pop a blast that it's working. That's really windy out right now. But uh, I'm going to show what I got over the past like month where I've been. I got busy with spinals. And then I just took a break till Christmas because I just didn't feel like doing any hunting. There's really no point. But I'm back at it now. So, and then hopefully I'll be doing a room tour soon. So, I also, I've also picked stuff up since I did that last video. But I'm not going to show them because I'm using them next video because I need stuff to use next video. The purpose of it was. Anyways, what I got before Christmas and like my Black Friday haul stuff, I guess. Kind of. Like Cyber Monday would be. <clears throat> I'm probably missing stuff too. I also got this dope Garfield hoodie. I'm wearing it because it's 10 o'clock and I just woke up. So I'm going to be a little out of energy, but it's all right. So as you guys know, anyways, getting on topic, I collect steelbooks. I have picked up two steelbooks since over the past months for Dirt Chief. One of them was Destiny, dead game. I'll probably never play this game again, but it was $2, and I do have good memories with this game, and it's a nice little steelbook. Got the little logo, and yeah, 2 bucks. Can't beat it for a steelbook. It's like a... $15 steelbook and the other one I'm really excited to get because I've been constantly hiding the steelbook at the local disc replay by me for it to drop to like 10 bucks and it finally did this game so I picked it up right away because I love the series I collect a lot of stuff for the series I'll be seeing a lot of the series possibly next week for Christmas stuff I got but uh Gears of War 4 steelbook if you're lucky you got JD you got uh Kate Diaz and other guy I can't remember very early in the morning. Wait, I got that, and then you got the cog symbol. I just cut my finger up really bad at work, so it hurts really bad. But yeah, I got that. And then next up is a Black Friday DVD I got, and that's the last kind of media for the most part. Something I've been really wanting to get for a very long time now for a really good price. And I did. I never wanted to pay more than 20 bucks for it. I got this for $20. So I was very happy to get one of my favorite animes, the complete series of Cowboy Bebop. This is about a $50 retail. I usually see it for like 40 though at Best Buy. But uh, yeah, 24 it's really good. It's the price I exactly been looking for it at. And yeah, I watched all of this while I was working on my final. So, very good purchase for me. Alright, sorry for the cut there. Uh, My throat just died and I really needed some liquid. God, it's so dark on my screen. Whatever. Hopefully it turns out good or I'm gonna die. Anyways, I got Fallen Order guy. I forget his name. Because why would I remember? But well, he's a pretty good one. He's really detailed. Got him for $15. Really cool and spiffy. I like him. Boop, boop, boop. It's okay. It's not going to focus. But it's really good. It looks really nice. Looks really good against my next to my Inquisitor and Perch Trooper. But that's not all he came with. He also came with the little robot dude. And he's probably the best part of it. It's really cool. I hope the Black Series. Like, Black Series should come with attachments like these like little robots and stuff. Make him way more worse to value. And it's like articulated. You can make him run and stuff. I'm pretty sure you can get him on his shoulder too. I've seen pictures of him on his shoulder. But I have not achieved that myself. Or really tried. Next up I picked up a figure a lot of people want. And I'm not going to say. I, 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 people are paying a lot of a pretty premium for this. And I don't know why. Because he has been available on and off like the whole time. I've seen him available a lot. I haven't seen him locally at my local Best Buy. Hint. But I seen a lot of people want him anyways i got this for a really really good deal um cyber monday at like 2 a.m best buy had like 25 percent off it might have been like 4 a.m i woke up just randomly when i looked at my phone and i saw this 
with like 25% off all Star Wars merchandise at like Best Buy and Cyber Monday. So I got him for I believe like 20 bucks or $22. So that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. I say I don't, these are 30 so it'd be 25 right? I was like 25 we'll just say, with shipping. I got like 5 bucks off, we'll say. I got the Heavy Trooper, Heavy Mando, really cool series just ended. It was a good 7 out of 10. There were some big problems with it, in my opinion. It just didn't really go anywhere. But I love Mandos, and this little guy looks awesome. And, yeah, I really hope they do more Mando Troopers. I have not picked up the IG-88 because I already have an IG-88. And I know he, like, people really like it now because of the last episode. But uh, it's legit just an IG unit with two Bandalors on it. I'm not spending more than, like, 10 bucks on that. So when it goes half off, I'll buy it probably. But... I did that. Also, fun fact, uh, I got the, I did, if you guys saw my uh, Force Friday video, I picked up the white box for uh, all the Star Wars figures I got the day they came out, because it was Force Friday, and that Mando I got goes for a fuck ton of money, it goes for like 150 bucks last time I checked, so I sold that box for $75, I kept the figure, so, pretty cool, little fun fact, I'm a, I guess I'm a flipper. Now this is the last item I'm going to show off before I do a quick cut, or two items I guess, or yeah there is the other one, uh, before I do the quick cut because I just want to make sure the footage is fine, so because I'm like freaking out now because I really don't want to do this for a force time, but as you guys saw in the only clip in this video because I it's the only part I filmed really of me hunting even though I really do a lot of hunting, it was a pretty good find at uh, 5 below we finally got a pack or a wave that I've never seen in Michigan. I had to buy the Captain Rex figure off Facebook Marketplace from some guy on, that he bought off eBay for like 25 bucks though. I felt like I was about to sneeze. I'm very sorry. But uh, yeah, I picked up some a couple of them, a couple of the figs. Uh, first up is a trade bait figure, Captain Rex. Uh, I still have him, so that shows how good of a buy this was. But I'm okay keeping him in the box. This is definitely one of my favorite Black Series figures. He looks great. And if I do not end up trading him, I'll just have an unhelmeted one uh, in my room. Maybe, oh, I can't really reuse that head. I'll just have, you know, it's definitely my favorite Black Series figure, probably. Next to, like, Boba Fett, probably. I really like that Proto Fett figure. It's really cool. But, yeah, I really am happy to get him for five bucks. There's a few others I was going to pick up, but I did not, and I'm glad I didn't. I did not trade any of them away. And then I picked up two other figures. Two of them are the same, so I'm going to show one of them. But I do have two of these next to my Grand Moff Tarkin. And uh, I got two Imperial Guards finally. I've been really wanting these Black Series figures for dummy cheap for a long time. I've seen them for like 13 bucks before I and I was going to pick them up. And I never did pick up two of them. And I'm glad I didn't because I got two of them for $10. Like what? Great figure. The uh, only problem I really have with it is the tarp. Like his little cape. Iconic part of him. Kind of is a little flimsy. It kind of doesn't always mold to the body as you want it to so it's the only thing there's probably a customs out there where it's like wire on the inside or something i'm guessing but other than that he looks really good he has like a whole sculpted body like underneath him looks really cool i do want to get the uh blue ones i forgot what they're called but i remember seeing them in clone wars and they're pretty cool but he, they're kind of expensive so uh yeah i'm gonna do a quick cut check the footage come back i'm gonna show you like one other statue i got over Christmas, and then I'm showing my Christmas stuff, and then we'll call it a day. Why did I do that? I'm so tired. His name's Cal Cactus. I remember while I was looking at the footage, I'm like, Cal Cactus is the guy's name. Anyways, back to where I was. Uh, footage looks good, by the way. For the most part, it's of his cringe, but I don't feel like dealing with it right now. I'll do that later. But uh, I got this uh, new My Hero statue to make up for it. Uh, it goes with the, I don't know why I'm looking up at it. It's not going to tell me what line it is. It's the ever something heroes epic heroes i don't know but it's all the heroes doing cool poses we got uh eraser man eraser head there we go dr mr izawa I got, i'm dying right now with names i think it's already dusty i got this like not even a week ago but yeah he looks really cool uh only thing i do wish it came with some of the heads cuff so you had like his goggles now would be kind of neat but it's pretty cool oh that's gonna annoy me this part is very hard to get back on but it goes through both of his hands, and it looks like he's holding it and stuff. It's pretty cool, but not when it falls out, and it's really a kind of a bitch to get back in. Ah, get in there. Oh, okay, it's popped out again. Anyways, I'll do this later. 
cool. Highly recommend these statues. Uh, yeah, they're really good. They're like 25 bucks each. You can usually get them during a 25% off sale for like 20 I have all of them except the All Might because the All Might one looks very bad. It looks very bad and I do not want it. I have a few other of the, other of the ones pre-ordered, but I'm also running out of space for these. So it's a very scary notion. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, next up, I just remembered I had one more Black Friday item. Probably the best Black Friday, Cyber Monday-ish item I got. I'm super excited to have this. Uh, it's very big. It's something I've wanted for a very long time since I really wanted to get started. I mean, I've already kind of started with a boosted board, but this is an actual skateboard I got from my boys at Mega64. Very awesome artwork. I kind of wish I bought two because I just love the artwork on this. I think it's done by Mariel, the person who does uh, the Skull Girls are in like individual, 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 and I can't say it. That art though, that artist, pretty big artist. A lot of people like her and I do too. I love this art. It's so Mega 64. And yeah, it's great looking. I'm going to get it complete probably when it's nicer out. Like around springtime. Take it to a shop. Uh, I did find some Dragon Ball wheels I might want to use. Because I'm a fucking weeb. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be uh, able to do a jump on it by the end of the summer. Because I suck at life. And I'll probably suck at skateboarding. But I do have a helmet. So yeah, it's sort of like. 50 bucks 70 after shipping shipping was like 20 bucks but i feel like it's a pretty good deal for a board like this so uh yeah i like it and if i never skate i got a cool skate deck to hang on my wall my little skate i'm excited i've been keep telling myself every year i'm gonna start learning new tricks and stuff because that's tony hawk but uh i never do that new year's resolution i always do other ones so uh yeah now we're in the christmas territory Ooh. I didn't get a crazy lot for Christmas. There's still a couple gifts I'm getting from friends. We're doing that sometime this week where I'll be getting an actual few other figures. But over Christmas, I only really got one figure. It's more of a statue, but it's a really cool statue. But I did get some other stuff, which I'll talk about real quick. Uh, I usually get a lot, like a good amount of stuff. This year, I got a pretty small amount of stuff, which is good because I got everything I wanted. I got some tickets to a concert I wanted to go to. I got the new Vans, which is very important. I got the statue, and I also, my big gift I got was a Apple Watch. So if you care about tech, I do have an Apple Watch now, and I very much do enjoy it so far. I've had it for about a week now. I mean, it's not even a week. It's been five days since Christmas. But, uh, yeah, I do very much like this Apple Watch. It's very nice, uh, very helpful. I'm getting a lot of use out of it, which is cool. And, uh, yeah, this is a Series 4. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Took me like a day to figure out how to connect to my phone, but other than that, highly recommend. And then I also got this statue here, which is something I've been wanting for a while. I'm really glad I got my mom to order it when it right when it came out because it sold out very quick and now it's going for like two hundred bucks. This was about I think fifty bucks. Yeah. It was like no eighty dollars. It was eighty. So you know a good markup on eBay, but I got the Gorilla Super Plastic 2D figure. I love this box art. It's such a cool box art. Got that on one side. You got the gorillas just going all around. And back. That was just that. Uh, this is a really nice statue. It's 12 inches tall. Uh, nothing really cool on the inside. It's just plastic and some batteries. But uh, here he is. And I really do. They've hinted at doing the rest of the band. I'm really hoping they do. Because what a gorgeous figure. I was not... Uh, really in the figures obviously I was like six when they originally came out from it was kid robot and so I never picked them but now they go for like a grand all together so hopefully they do uh, 12 inch forms of super plastic they hinted at doing the other members of the band I'm hoping they do them because that would be very cool and I would pick them up even though they do take up a crazy amount of space because they're 12 inches tall but uh yeah the eyes do light up too but I do not have the batteries in because I keep forgetting to put them in uh, so there's no point because I'll just take them right out after I do because I don't want them to corrode in his head. But yeah, great, gorgeous figure. Uh, yeah, just, I love the mouth. That's my favorite part. It's like indented actually. It actually goes like deep in or like tongue detail, de tongue detail and stuff. But yeah, really gorgeous figure. Yeah, and I believe that's about every item I got. Except for one, I just remember this is probably the most important item that you guys are... Like, dude, you had to have gotten this. I'm like, I did get this 100%. Best Buy, like, Christmas, the day before Christmas Eve, had uh, a random sale go on where it's $5 for a couple of games. And you know I picked one of them up. It's a Switch game. 
Check Fu Baby Legend Reborn, five dollars. Great price for a garbage game. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. I probably won't because I have no desire to play this garbage game. But for five bucks and a Shaq Fu for the meme, I'll definitely add that to my Switch collection. And yeah, that's everything I picked up. About except for some pins. I got some pins too that are pretty cool. But I'll show that in the room tour because I already put them up and I don't feel like dealing with it. They're just from some Rooster Teeth pins I got on eBay for really cheap. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking around just making sure it's everything I got. Uh, I am supposed to show this video, and it is. So, if you guys like this video, remember to like, subscribe, comment down below what you got for Christmas or for, like, Cyber Monday, I guess, even though it's way past now. But, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I've been gone for a little bit. I just need a little, like, a month break after, like, school and finals and stuff. I just need some time to, like, decompress. I'll be back on it now. Uh, I'm going to hopefully do a room tour sometime this week because I'm out of work now for a little bit because they're remodeling our where we work and i'll do another hunt video sometime next week i already found some pretty cool stuff so you want to stick around for that so like subscribe comment down below if you also if any items you thought was cool in here did you know about the 2d figure i did i only know about it from an instagram ad so uh yeah i'm gonna cut it here take a shower and get on with my day